Hello everyone, Case Fighting 15 here for a Michigan uh, video uh, discussing my analyzation of each Michigan prospect uh, entering the 2017 NFL Draft. I've done a Michigan video since fucking um, Ohio State or Florida State. I don't even know if I did a Florida State video. I was just so aggravated from that game. So I think Ohio State, I don't. I'm a big Michigan fan, but I'm more of a big Steelers fan than a Michigan fan, so I don't really do as many videos from Michigan, but uh, I kind of just wanted to do a video because I've done a video in like a week since the draft uh, needs for the Steelers, so um, I'm not going to go through every Michigan recruit or prospect going to the draft. I'm just going to be talking about, I think, 10 or 12 players that I got from this list online and discussing uh, what round and kind of giving my opinions. Uh, on these players, so um, real quick, um, during the 2016 draft, Michigan only had uh, three players um, <clears throat> drafted: uh, Graham Glasgow, Willie Henry, and Jake Rudock. Uh, got picked third round, uh, fourth round, sixth round, um, and Michigan has not had any more. Then three draft, then three players selected any draft class since 2008, and this year in 2017, that's going to change. Um, so first player, I don't know everyone, I don't know everyone, everyone's on this dude. Well, not everyone, but uh, Jabril Peppers, um, big time talked about. Uh, a lot of people have him going down the boards past round one. I don't understand it. Um, a lot of people are either big on him or they think he's going to suck. Um, I may be called biased, but I can see why he's going to be a big-time player. And um, Here's the thing. A lot of people, first off, look at his numbers to determine how good he is. Um, okay, well, the stats may be there for why he's bad, but the thing is, um, when you watch the games... Before Florida State, you you can tell a difference. Okay, first off, the guy's playing. Let's see, Wildcat quarterback, uh, running back, punt returner, kick returner. No, Jordan Lewis was our kick returner. Punt returner, uh, linebacker, safety, corner. The man's playing. You know, seven seven different positions. So uh, it's hard to gather stats when you're playing multiple things. But what he did for Michigan was he covered a lot of their holes, uh, meaning his speed, he was able to make up mistakes by others and able to cover up holes, so, you know, they had more time to pass rush. Um, honestly, quite frankly, if I had to put it in one spot, I would say his best thing is safety. Um, he also played corner, too. I mean, the dude played everywhere. But if I had to say what he's best at, probably a uh, in-the-box safety. Um, he's pretty good at that. Um, really fast, good tackler. Um, probably not the best ball hawk, but I never saw a lot of teams throw at him, so he obviously he must be good at covering. What? Okay. Okay. I'll just cut that out. Um, so the main's really good, a uh, good safety. You can you can put him maybe as like a in the box uh, safety or maybe like a linebacker. He's good at stopping the run, uh, fast. Um, that's on defense. On offense, you can wildcat. You know he's a pretty fast, explosive player. So you know you can put him red zone packages, um, power turns. So I think uh, I definitely see him going first round, and I think he deserves to go first round um, for sure. This is probably a long video, I can already tell. Okay. Uh, Jake Butt. Okay. Um, really pretty all round good tight end. Uh, won the. Let's see, what? Um, okay. I'm pretty sure he won uh, an award this year for being one of the best tight ends. I think there was a John Mackey Award. Pretty sure he. Pretty sure he won. Um, Jake Butt's a pretty good, uh, pretty good tight end. Uh, 
good route runner, good catcher, good blocker, pretty good at everything. Um, if he was healthy, I'd say maybe, maybe late first round, but I really doubt it. Uh, but since he got injured, um, probably fourth round, maybe third, but probably fourth round. Um, overall prospect wise, I'd say second round, maybe late or uh, third early round, or third the third third round. Um, pretty good tight end, does everything well. Um, doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Uh, pretty good uh, receiver. Um, I say pretty good prospect. So probably, uh, probably second or third round. But he's gonna go fourth or fifth due to his injury. I'll say fourth round he goes. Um, on to the next player. Ah, uh, Jordan Lewis. Um, this kid, really good cornerback. Honestly, could be. As a this as a corner and as a player, uh, could arguably be better than Peppers. Um, shut down corner. Um, he had one bad game, honestly, and uh, this past season against Florida State, he really got. That's the worst I've ever seen him get, get beat. But other than that, top notch corner, really good corner. Good length. He's five ten, kind of short, but really good length. Speed. He's got he's got everything. He's. I don't know why scouts or I don't know why scouts don't talk about him. Well, I don't understand it. The the guy, uh, really good corner. He was gone for half the year, uh, for Michigan this past season. When he came back, shut down corner. Really good. Really really good. Um, I don't know how it's gonna translate to NFL, but I think he'll be a good number two, or uh, possibly number one. But I think he'll definitely be a good corner. Um. I believe he's a first-round player, but a lot of people don't. So I think he'll go second round, third, but really good corner. Um, like I said, he's 5'10", but he's got really good length. Uh, me, I like his arm length. He's fast. He's Everything about him is good. There's not really any weakness in his game. Um, I don't know how he is in run support. Like I said, Michigan's defense... Well, not like I said, but like I said this past year, Michigan's defense was the best in, in the country. So, you know, he'd have to do a whole lot. But when it come, when I never see when quarterbacks threw his way, it got batted, deflected, or picked off one-handed. I remember that from the uh, Indiana game. I think it was was Indiana, or was it uh West Wisconsin? I think it was Wisconsin. Okay, um, I don't know who this is, I am showing up, okay, okay, uh, Chris, Chris Wormley, um, uh, uh, defensive end for, uh, Michigan, uh, pretty sad player, I'd say fourth round, uh, has some pretty decent numbers, um, Really gonna be a pretty solid DN in the NFL. I think he'll be a four three DN. I can't really see him being a big three four DN. Uh, definitely a four three DN. Uh, probably fourth round. He's a pretty decent player. I think he'll be pretty all right in the NFL. Okay, cool. All right, back to the offense. Uh, actually, a lot of this has been defense, but uh, offense. Ju Chesson. Um. Pretty good receiver. Um, I really liked him and Darbaugh as our number one and two receivers. They'll be leaving though. Uh, I thought they were pretty good. Uh, probably not first round, second round, but maybe third or fourth round. Uh, good route runners. They're both pretty the same player, really. They're both pretty good. I like them both. But Chesson, um, I think he's like, I don't, I don't. Michigan's offense really wasn't that good this year, so I really don't know about him too well, but. Um, I thought they're pretty good. On the next player, uh, Tiger Charlton. A lot. Of, now a lot of people are on this guy, and I understand it. Um, DN six six two eighty five, big DN. Uh, really, uh, pretty good for Michigan last year. Arguably our best D lineman, probably our best D lineman, quite frankly. Uh, he's definitely gonna be a first round player for sure. Uh, had two and a half sacks against Ohio State. Uh, a lot of teams like him as a 4-3 DN or a possible 3-4 outside linebacker. I think he'll be pretty good uh, in the NFL. I think he'll, uh, I think he's going to be, uh, I can't remember his name. 
He went to uh, Seattle and was our DN. Frank Clark, he'll be a little bit better than him. I think he'll be pretty good for uh, any team that picks him. Probably going to go to, uh, he'll be a uh, late first round player. Um, maybe mid, probably late first round though, for sure. Okay, here we go. Mauro Darbo, uh, 6'2". Uh, he's not as fast as, as J.U. Chesson, but he's pretty good too as well. Um, they're both pretty much the same receiver in my opinion. They're both pretty much uh, very similar. I like Darbo better than Chesson, honestly, but they're both pretty good. I like Darbo as a fifth round player. Oh, Ryan Glasgow, okay. Um... He's one of he was one of our best D linemen. Our whole D line was good, honestly, but he's one of our best interior D linemen, D tackle. Um, I don't really see him being a first or second or third round player. I see him being a late pick. Um, definitely fourth round, fifth round. Uh, I like him as a four three D tackle. I don't know if he's big enough for a three four nose tackle though. Um, on the next player. Davion Smith, I really don't see him. I don't really see him being much. He was okay for Michigan, but the problem is we ran a committee, um, running back committee with uh, Davion Smith, uh, Chris Evans, Ty Isaac, and I don't remember the other uh, Gideon. I think his name was or some shit. Um, Davion Smith. Going to be okay. Six round, maybe undrafted. Six round pick, maybe. I don't know. Um, I don't see him being a starting back, but I see him maybe being a goal line or a third down back. Maybe a maybe like a second back, but I don't really see him being a starter, to be honest with you. And to be honest with you, that's... Is there anyone else I'm really missing? So we got Peppers, uh, Jordan Lewis, T Jake Butt. Davion Smith, Chesson, uh, Darbo, Charlton, Glasgow, uh, Wormley. Uh, Michigan really to to, it doesn't really have too many good linebackers. We're honestly we're just really good at D line and uh, secondary. So that's, that's all the players, and uh, that's the video, peeps. See you later.